first person to question is Francis. How can footballers change racist attitude? Um, I think uh, generally footballers um, have got quite a high profile, so you know, they can reach out to, to people with um, things like the community and stuff like that, and you know, there's newspapers and interviews and that, so I suppose we can reach more of uh, a general broad spectrum really with uh, the public, that normal people can't, I suppose, get the message across. Yeah, I think kids generally want to do what footballers do, so if Footballers are not racist, and if they follow our footsteps, then they won't be racist themselves. So, if you experience racism on the pitch, how would you tackle it? There's nothing really you. You can do on the pitch, you know. You just hope. Are you talking about by a fellow footballer? Yeah. Right. Position, yeah. There's nothing really you can do, you know. Um, just ignore it, I think. Yeah, you just have to ignore it. Um, there, there is actually nothing you can do. Obviously, if the referee uh, yeah, gets sent off and he will get punished, but as an individual, there's nothing you can do. You just have to get out of your head and concentrate on your game, I suppose. I think yeah, it will get picked up anyway by people watching and things like that. So it will be it will be taken up after the game. Right. So. Thanks. No problem. <laughs> Adam, thanks. How many of your past teammates have been racist to before, and if yes, how they make you feel? Um. Well, no. I've never experienced. <laughs> Racism in a, in a football club before, not amongst the players especially. Um, obviously you see it on TV and things like that, but that's, that's really as close as I've, I've ever got to it. So no, I haven't. No, I've never had a team maybe racist, so I've never heard any of clubs up in that. Um, maybe at school when I played football, if you played mm -hmm. against someone, uh, there's a bit of racism there. But never since I've been a footballer. Thank you. Uh, <coughs> did you experience racism growing up? And if so, how did you make it feel? Um, yeah, I experienced a bit of it. Um, and people probably just think, probably from like white people, but it's also from black people. Because I'm mixed race, and a lot of black people don't like to see mixed race kids, you know, um, white and black mixing. So it's from both sides. Um, it, it's to do with jealousy, you know, a bit of jealousy, and especially if you're doing well, they'll try and put you down any way you can, and, can, and that's basically why I got a bit of racism, but it was only a little bit, um, I just ignored them, and um, I'm playing football, and they're struggling at the moment, so you know, it's just, that's how I dealt with it. Cheers, mate. Cheers. So got Jay. What advice would you give to people who have been um, abused by racism? Um, I'd probably just say, um, I suppose there's reasons behind it, and at the end of the day, if you don't react, you'll be the bigger person. I think they've, they've obviously got a problem and issues, and whether they are jealous or they've... Um, they've got issues or they've been hurt in the past or something like that, I don't know, but if you just rise above it and, and I'm sure when they grow up and they kind of see um, how they've acted, they'll regret it, I think, because uh, there's no place for it. So, yeah, I just think, yeah, you ignore it and be the bigger person. Yeah, I think that's definitely the right answer and the way to deal with it. If you ignore them, they're, they're obviously doing it because they want to get a reaction out of you to hurt you, and if you show that you're not hurt, then they've not done their job. Thank you. Show racism the red card. <laughs>